So, it's the start of another month, and with it, the team of Microsoft have put out another update to the Power BI desktop application. And in amongst the new features this month uh, are some enhancements to the drill through filter function that we covered in episode one. So, I thought in today's episode, we'd take a look at those and put some of those enhancements into action. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at the enhancements that have been made to the drill through filter function uh, with the May 2018 update to the Power BI desktop. Uh, I'm also going to take you through uh, something called sync slicers, and this is a feature that was added to Power BI with the February 2018 update. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm doing that is because as I started looking through the uh, uh, or building out a demonstration for this, I sort of thought, well, you know, the 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 functionality that they've added in with the May update um, was partially fixed with sync slicers. So I thought I'd go through the whole scenario, uh, show you exactly what the problem is that uh, this update solves and, and how you could have uh, certainly after the February update uh, partially fixed that with sync slicers. If you haven't done so already, check out episode one of the Power BI show uh, where I go through adding drill through filters to a report. Uh, I just take you through what drill through filters are and how you can add them to your report pages. Uh, and I do go through that in quite some detail. The demo I'm using in this uh, video, uh, I'll put a link to the demo report on the show notes, and you'll need to make sure that you're running at least the May 2018 update to the Power BI desktop application. Uh, if you're running the version that's installed via the Windows Store, then that should update automatically. Otherwise, uh, head on over to the powerbi.com website, and you can download that from there uh, you need to go into the advanced download options here and uh, scroll down download and select which one you want either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version okay so I'm going to start off by taking you through what the uh, the problem really is that this latest update addresses um, if we go right back to when drill through filters were added uh, that was back in the September 2017 update to the Power BI desktop at, at that point um, you can actually pass through any filters to your drill through page so here I have a, a simple report that I set up and this is very similar to the report that uh, I set up for episode one um, if I take here look at look, look at um, product category I've got sales amount by product category if I pick computers and I select drill through uh, to my drill through page we'll see that um, that all works fine I get get the value that I'm expecting there 3.2 billion however I go back to my original page again uh, and I've got some uh, slices here if I if I set those uh, so let's say uh, we pick 2013 as the year uh, stores as the sales channel and then perhaps uh, we go for adventure works so now I've, I'm expecting uh, 1.66 million if I drill through on computers uh, drill through again and I'm still seeing this 3.2 billion uh, and that's because the none of the filters are actually being passed down to that drill through page so my, my slices and I've also got a visual here that I could have filtered on none of that's being done so actually if I want to replicate that I have to go through and again select all the slicer options so 2013 uh, oh, let me stores sales channel and adventure works and then I get the the values that I'm expecting now with the February update to uh, the Power BI desktop uh, they introduced something called sync slices so let's uh, if I just take you through that and you can see um, how that would have partially uh, solved this problem um, so if we go up to the view and uh, select this option here of sync slices uh, if I go back to my original page and then I select a slicer and I get these options here so I can see each of the pages in my report um, and I've got a couple of check boxes there uh, one is to uh, pass uh, uh, to synchronize the uh, the slicer on the different pages so if I for example uh, click this drill through um, what will happen then uh, let's go back and reset these uh, slicers So what will happen then on the, uh, if I select an option on this slicer and I drill through now 
the slicer on the second page will be synchronized to the slicer on the first page. Um, go back to my so if I select that you see I can I get the same uh, box up for that slicer. And uh, then also I've got this column here which is an eye and that that is uh, is going to make the slicer visible or invisible on each page. So perhaps uh, just for an example here I I click on the drill through page and take the visibility of the slicer off. I see it disappears from my page. Uh, so effectively all that's doing is, is doing the same as we would have on the selection page now and we can see it's it's hiding that particular slicer. Okay, so if I go back and replicate that for each of the three slicers I have, uh, we'll see that that actually partially resolves the problem. So if I drill down again, that's perhaps this time we'll do TV and video, drill through, and you can see that the slices are all now nicely synchronized. Uh, now the problem that the update to the uh, the May 2018 update addresses is when we have a filter on, uh, say for a visual for example. So let's go back to my main page again. And this time perhaps if I select uh, the region of North America, so now we can see the values go down. If I, if I again select and drill through on TV and video, I'm actually expecting it to say 41 million. And I will see that that is not being passed through. So I still have a partial problem. So with the May 2018 update, if I go on to my uh, visualization now and look through to the drill through, I have a new uh, switch here, which is keep all filters. Uh, and what that will do is, is when you drill down uh, to a drill through page, it will bring through all the filters that were set on the page that you're drilling down from. Um, so we set that to on now. And actually, uh, when you add a new drill through uh, filter to this this uh, drill through part of uh, well, uh, this is actually now being set on by default. So we set that on, go back to my original page, set my slices, uh, again, select North America, uh, drill down again on TV and videos. And this time we see we get the correct amount. And actually what I can now do is uh, take off sync slices. Uh, I don't actually now need that with this update uh, because that will by default bring through all those values as well. So let's uh, let's reset all of those. original page and perhaps at this time we select 2014 and uh, all right so let's reset everything now this time if I select 2014 uh, no, 2012 there we go I haven't got any actually got any sales in 2014 uh, and this time perhaps we'll look at online So, and I'm going to select Europe. So, if I now drill down on, say, cell phones, uh, we see we get the correct amount. All those, uh, all those values are being passed through. So, although it's not uh, syncing my slices, it actually is bringing those through. And we can see those now in the drill through filters section. It's bringing through all the filters. Um, so, in fact. We don't necessarily need those slices on the page at all, uh, but I will leave them there uh, for the moment. Uh, there's also been an update to sync slices with the May update, and that you can now have groups. So uh, if we pick a, uh, the year slicer here, for example, we now have this advanced options uh, where you can give it a group name to uh, a selection of slices. Uh, so a good example of this might be where you have on, on one page a slicer for uh, a straightforward date and uh, then on, a, on another page you might have a slicer for a sales date and or an order date and on the next page you might have a, a slicer for dispatch date for example uh, and if you add those all to the same group uh, what that means is if you have update one of those slicers that will then be the update will be synced across all, all of those slicers uh, and finally the the last update we're going to look at is uh, 
back to drill throughs again and now what you can do is you can also drill through uh, using a, a measure so uh, before prior to the May update you couldn't do that uh, but now because you can bring through all the filters and you need you need those uh, for the filter context to, to be able to use a measure uh, you can now use a measure to drill through on so let's have a look at that let's go back to our uh, page again uh, and I have this this measure here that I've set up um, of net amount and if we go to my drill through page that I've set up for that I can bring a uh, net amount down as the drill through field and you'll see now that the keep all filters is uh, not only is it set to on but it's actually uh, greyed out so I can't switch it off and as I've said that's because you need to bring through all the filters to keep the filter context uh, so we go back to our, our main page again uh, let's remove that so we see what we're doing and um, so if I set uh, some of the slices up here um, they uh, will select Asia this time uh, look at TV and videos I've got a net amount there um, of 8.9 million uh, if I drill through now I can drill through down and that's my uh, measure drill through page and we can see uh, the sales that make up uh, the 8.9 million of, of net sales okay so that's it for for this episode um, in the next episode I'm gonna just a heads up I'm gonna be taking a look at um, buttons and uh, uh, bookmarks so uh, uh, in recent updates there have been uh, uh, considerable updates to the bookmarks in fact that's now gone from uh, the preview uh, that, I, that I looked at originally, and that's now uh, now gone on to general availability. So there've been some quite uh, quite a few updates to bookmarks, and uh, they've also introduced this concept of buttons, which uh, certainly used with with bookmarks. So uh, yeah, just a heads up for that on the uh, the next episode of the Power BI Show. That's it for today's show. If you enjoyed it or found the content useful, then please hit the like button, and please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll make. That's it for now though, until the next time, thanks for watching.